Alrighty y'all, welcome to Ellis Mowers and welcome to part 3 of this Craftsman uh, 42 inch 6 speed 19 horsepower Briggs and Stratton opposed twin. Um, we've got the mower running. We also have got the mower driving uh, and the steering and everything corrected on it. So we're in good shape so far. Um, this part I've got to put an ignition switch on it. Uh, i got to put the deck on it and do a little bit of work to the deck before we put it back on it. And also we're going to put a deck build on it. Um, probably going to put, I think i got to put a tire tube in this. I originally said in part two I was going to put another set of tires on it. I need them for a John Deere back, here, back there in the back. So I'm not going to worry about doing that. We're going to keep these current tires on it because that John Deere is a lot nicer than this. I don't want to go through the time and effort to change the tires on it to just make potentially 25 to 50 more dollars since uh, these tires will hold air just fine. All right, so working on a time crunch a little bit, trying to get some things done before dinner time. Um, here's the deck for it. It's a 12 gauge steel deck, heavy duty. I don't think it's the original deck that came on this mower because I think it's too early for the 12 gauge steel. I could be wrong though. Um, we're going to give it a nice paint job. I'm going to blow it off and all that good stuff before we end up uh, taking it and putting it. Uh, well, we're going to put it back on the mower, but uh, we're going to give it a good paint job and all that good stuff uh, before we sell it off. I uh, found some deck arms for it. These deck arms are, are roughly the same. If they're not the exact same, kind of running low on deck arms, truthfully. Um, just from decks that are miss, have been missing them. But uh, stupid me took the spindle off and broke the bolt, so I had to buy a new spindle, which I have one right there, and I have the other one sitting right here. Uh, this is the one we're gonna put on it. I have all the hardware over here to put everything back on it. I'm just gonna sharpen the blades on this. The blades look okay. Um, I might look in the cabinet to see if I have blades that are slightly better than this. Because uh, this blade, as you can see, I don't know how well I can show you. I'll show it to you when I turn the deck around. But uh, this one, this spindle we're going to put on um, pretty easy. Just don't forget you have to put on this, uh, this little uh, device here under it. Kind of running low on battery too. So what I might do is I might show you exactly what I do with this. So... Whenever you go under the mower, you're going to put, let me check the other side just to make 100% sure I'm doing what I need to do here. Yeah. Y'all didn't just see that duck about fall off of the, <laughs> fall off here. Um, so yeah, this is what it, this kind of protects the grass a little bit from the spindle whenever you put it back on. So it just goes on underneath like that. Might actually be able to have it hold in place if I'm good enough. So yeah, it just kind of holds in place. And you, uh, you put the spindle... Let me get y'all set up right here. Put the spindle up underneath it. Take these bolts off. So you just put the spindle underneath like so. Match it up with your holes on the little grass guard for the spindle is what that is. terribly difficult, thankfully. 
as I'm struggling. And before I do the others, I just wanted to kind of get that first one in. You're going to put the other two in. What I like to do with these, especially these aftermarket ones, is they don't have very big... I like putting washers around them because you see the lock nuts are really not that, that big and the heads aren't really that big. So I'm going to put washers on them. I'll show you the finished product. Again, all you have to do after you put the spindle on is put your uh, your little lock washer on the t oh it's already got it on it so you just put your little put this piece on and you're good to go so I'll do all that finished product I'll turn it around I'll show you the condition of the blades well I have sad news it looks like the housing on this spindle is broken so uh how about we put two spindles on it? Let me put the second spindle on it. I'll get these blades on it, and uh, we'll uh, we'll go from there. Man, I hate that. That's another twenty dollars on a mower that I already. I'm probably not gonna do, not gonna make much money on, but that's okay. Um, I at least get my money back, which is better than losing money. And we're almost at the finish line. Let me put that second spindle on, and then we'll continue. Alrighty, I got the deck on the mower. Um, again, I'm going to paint it a little bit, and also I need to put a belt on it before we continue on with with it. Um, making progress, though. Making good progress. Um, like I said, I think i got to just wait on the deck belt now and uh, source an ignition switch. And uh, we might be in good shape on this thing. I hope, I hope we are. Um, had a lot of time in this. New deck spindles and all that good stuff. It should cut pretty well too. Sharpen blades, you know, the whole nine yards. Um, not intentionally, but I just got to air up the tires properly. I think this side's a little low, which is why the deck is sitting a little low on this side. Um, probably have to adjust it a little bit as well. But uh, we'll save that for another day. Um, but we'll continue on with uh, refreshing this mower here on a different day here in just a second. Alrighty, I don't know how well I can show this to you, but I picked up a new switch because I don't know if I had another one here that would work. Um, and of course, it, uh, it was the last one that Lowe's had and uh, I was missing the keys and the lock nut, but I've got both of those, so I'm not worried about it. This is the situation that I've got. Um, they're not the they're the five they're a five post switch but they're not the exact same so I've got the starter here which is on this post on this mower the battery is on this post on this switch and it's on the opposite side on this switch the ground and the lights are switched the magneto is over here on this one and on the top on this one and so it's just a little bit of a mess however I'm gonna come over here and uh, all I gotta do, it's really not too bad. I just gotta switch the wires around, which is gonna be a little frustrating, but it's not gonna be too terrible. I just don't have a lot of room to work with the wiring and what the wiring is in here. I might have to take the battery out and all that good stuff to get around, get better access to it. Yeah, if I take that battery and battery plate out, I can get much better access. So I'm going to take that out. Um, I have to tell you, I've never really taken the poles out of a switch before, so I don't know if I just need to push them out with a screwdriver or what. But I'll let you know what I end up doing in order to get it out. And all I'm going to do, basically, is match up the new switch with the old, the current wiring with the new switch. So all I have to do is the two bottom terminals I have to swap swap and then I have to let's see I have to swap 
couple other ones. Uh, let's see. So the starter goes from here to here. The battery goes from here to here, and the magneto goes from here to here. So it basically makes a makes a loop. Um, let me take the battery and the battery box back out of this, switch the wiring around, put this new switch in, and see what we got. All right, let me show you what I did real quick. Um, basically, all you have to do is pop out your little pins, your old pins, and pop the new pins in, and you're in good shape. So that's what I did. Um, that switch is a little on the loose side, but I'll fix it in just a second because I originally had uh, taken it out and because uh, I was having issues but I forgot that I did not hook my and meter back up and so it travels the and meter travels through that to get to the switch or 12 volts travels through that to get to the switch so I hooked the and meter back up right there and also reallocated everything to the switch, just switched around, switched around everything to make it match the old switch. Popped the flathead screwdriver out of the connectors, popped the new ones in. I did have to re-splice and crimp one wire, one ground wire, but everything else was good. So, new switch is in, um, and we'll crank it up. Runs a little rich, but I think that's what these opposed twins like to do. I think they like to run a little rich to keep them cooler. Um, next order of business I have to do, it's probably not going to be very fun because of their... Oh, no. Here we go. We do have a drain on this side. I do need to change the oil lamp. And I'm going to put a deck belt on it. I've done quite a few of these deck belts, so I'll show you what I do to put a deck belt on one of these. It's not terribly difficult. This has the mechanical blade engage on it. So you have to take off that bracket right there. And then also you have to take off that arm in the back. I don't know if you can see that bottom arm that sticks down. You have to take both of those out to get the belt around it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put the deck belt on it and give this thing an oil change and uh, level the deck as well. I'm going to inflate all four tires up to the same PSI, level the deck, and uh, I don't really have any grass to cut because I cut grass yesterday with a different one. But I might just take it for a ride around the yard so that I can feel confident about selling it. I've got a bunch of riders in the works right now, as y'all can see. But I'm going to do those things that I described to you. Um, and then we'll uh, uh, give it a test. We'll test to make sure the blades and everything work. And then I'll uh, take it for a ride. I'm also going to paint the deck on it, make it look a little bit nicer. It's a miniature Pate's Performance Restyle is what we might want to call it. Uh, but it's just the deck. I have a mulching plate coming for this mower. 
in the next couple of days I decided to opt for the mulching plate over the um, discharge sheet just because it gives the buyer a little bit more options as to what they want to do with their grass because some people just cut it like this which I don't recommend but uh, yeah I got that mulching plate coming and should this should be a good lawnmower after I finish with it I want to check to make sure it restarts hot as well so let me go ahead and do what I said I was going to do, and I'll catch up with y'all in just a second. So I'm under the mower. I want to show you most of the time, all you got to do is adjust this nut, and there's one on the other side. I don't know how, I don't know if you can see how much further that nut is up on the little adjustment than this nut is. But it's a significant amount. This thing had a serious um, lean to it, so to speak, on the deck. So I'm just taking my 9 sixteenths and using my oil filters as a guide that I put under the deck because they fit perfectly. Usually I try and get the deck to the point where on the side it's about even with a, this type oil filter. And then I'll... Uh, put everything back together. This mower doesn't have any of the blade brakes attached to it anymore, which isn't a big deal, but um, so the blades will probably spin almost all the time while it's running, but until the belt gets worn and stretches out a little bit. But uh, everything else looks pretty decent on it. I just gotta, like I said, I just gotta work on it and fix it and then we'll be good. But I'm gonna work on raising this up right now and uh, I'll get the rest of it here in just a second. Well, it's a wonder what a uh, little bit of spray paint will do. I spray painted the deck on it, and it looks mildly better. Obviously, we're not going for pristine new or anything like that around here, but it looks much better. I'm going to put the mulching plate over it, and I'm going to give this thing a, a run around the yard. Just give it to cut most of the yard, if I can get the yard cut with it. I don't really have to cut much, but I'll at least run it over the yard. If I can get the yard cut with it, we'll call it good, and we'll send it on down the line. Again, I had an issue with another opposed twin Briggs that was having issues restarting when hot, so I'm probably going to wait about halfway and see if I can get this thing started again. Um, or I might just cut the entire yard just to make sure that everything's good on it, and then see if I can restart it after that. Uh, we'll see what happens. I gotta, I gotta load it up with some gas because it's running a little rich after I drilled out the the jets in it. Um, I'm gonna load it up with some gas, cut with it, see how well it does. Come back. Hopefully, we'll list this thing for sale. This thing's not gonna be much more than about a three hundred and fifty dollar mower. I might list it for that since I got new deck spindles and and things along those lines on it. Um, Cosmetically, it looked a whole lot worse when I got it, but it didn't turn out too bad. Um, again, I put the mulching plate on it, and uh, I've got others, others out here ready and waiting in the wings to, to, to be worked on. So, and then some parts mowers, some ones that look a whole lot worse over here. Put on a bad front that way people don't come and steal your stuff. But uh, I got cameras, anyways. Anyways, let me. Um, cut some with it um, make sure everything's good on it and then we will uh, see if we list it for sale get it out of here alrighty y'all I got this brand new spindle here that uh, ended up like frying the ball bearings or something in it something something broke in it the, uh, the bearing top bearing broke in it so it froze it up what I'm gonna try and do is get the bearing out of this one which I messed up so I'm not gonna be that guy and return it um, and being like it broke when I put it on the mower y'all saw what I did so I'm gonna do that I've got the blade off of it already my plan is I've never really taken one of these off to save before so let's my plan is Take a center punch and a hammer and just pop it. We'll see if that works. 
I need to get a bigger hammer. It's actually working. There we go. Okay. So I got the shaft and the lower bearing off. Now I'm just going to take a mm, screwdriver maybe. And if I had a socket long enough, but I don't. Hmm. Or where's my jack at? Well, let's see if the jack works. The jack handle. Yeah, that works. that bearing out. I'm going to save the spindle on this side because it's good otherwise I'm not going to take it off the mower. That way I don't mess myself up too bad. But you can see that bearing on this spindle just decided it wanted to go out for whatever reason. Who knows why. Good news is I can pack it with grease on the inside. I'll do something to it. Make it run cooler. So I'm gonna do the same thing to this side that I just did to that side and pull out this spindle. Well I've got y'all see me do these spindles already. Well I've got this off, I'm gonna take this housing off and I'll show you underneath real quick. So underneath, you see where it's split right there, where I hit, hit the concrete. So that was a mistake on my part. So there's no need for the uh, spindle company to uh, fix that. And I might have busted that over there as well as a result. So I wouldn't feel right about returning the spindle. But I'm going to get these off and I'll rebuild that spindle over here and I'll show you the end result after I put the new spindle on as well. Hopefully we've got freedom of movement. I can put this thing back on the deck, put the deck back on the mower. Still trying to sort out the running issues with it. I have an idea, but we'll see. Alrighty, well, for some reason I've put the bearing in, even greased it, but it's still not turning like I want it to. So I don't know if like the housing wasn't completely sorted correctly or what, but I don't feel comfortable putting, keeping this uh, spindle on it. Especially considering the other one is moves great. So I might have just had a bad spindle overall. It's no big deal. Um, you're gonna, in this business, you're gonna eat some cash every once in a while, and so I basically ate about thirty some dollars on this. Um, if I can get it to where I can get a mower that's completely sorted out, runs good, cuts good, drives good, then you know I'll I'll make some of that money back. I'm not gonna make all of it back, unfortunately, on this one. Uh, I'll be selling this one at a loss. Because two sets of deck spindles set you back pretty good. But you know, it'll be worth it to the buyer to have that peace of mind. Um, and I've just got to get the get it fixed to the point to where it's starting and running and cutting reliably. So I'm getting to that point. And part of that is replacing this entire spindle assembly, which is unfortunate. 
but uh, something that I'm going to do here. So let me go ahead and do this side as well. I've already done that side, so we're we're good on that side. And um, I'll put this thing back on the mower. Um, I got to I got to sort out the running issues and whatnot after this. So uh, once I sort all that out, we'll uh, we'll see what happens, and uh, hopefully we can get this thing to where I can test cut with it and uh, have a good lawnmower here. All right, everybody, um, I looked at the videos because um, I filmed these over the course of a few days, and uh, looks like the last thing I showed you was redoing the deck spindles, which I got those on, got the deck back on, put the belt on, everything is good. Um, I filmed a bunch about me trying to fix this opposed twin. Um, instead of boring y'all with another perpetual process, what I'm going to do, because it was similar in nature, I'm going to link in the description another opposed twin that I did that had very similar issues to this one with hard starting when hot and things like that. So I'm going to um, link that in the description for you. Sorry, the bugs are killing me out here. But what I ended up doing ultimately is I had to drill out the carb jets a little bit to eight thousandths for the low side and twelve thousandths for the main jet on this one. Uh, 46 cubic inch I did thirteen thousandths because it needs a little bit more fuel. Um, and also I had to put an OEM coil back on it because the new coil that I bought actually failed and it was actually cause, causing the thing to run backwards for whatever reason. But as you can see, seat cover and all that good stuff. Um, I'm not going to make any money on this lawnmower. I'm going to be losing some. So I'm just listing this thing for, I think I'm going to list it for 300 If I get 250 for it, so be it, you know. I'll be happy with it. Um, but let me crank it up for you. I just cranked it up, brought it out. This thing's starting great now, actually. Um, cut the front yard with it. Actually blew a fuse. I think I had a an issue with a uh, contact in the positive terminal of the battery, so I put a battery strap on it to help it move or to help it in that nature. But let me crank it up for you. Starts right up now, which is great. And it'll idle down pretty good too. Let's take it for a ride down the driveway, why don't we? As you can see, future projects. have blade brakes on it never came it didn't come with them when I got the mower so
that's about out. I just lose the gas cap. I think it's about out of gas. And put the gas cap back on it. Yeah, it's pretty low. I'll top it off with some gas. Sometimes that thing does get a little weak and a run on a couple of cylinders or maybe just like one cylinder because it does have a slight head leak from where I broke a head bolt, cleaning out the heads on it. Again, I'll put that link in the description as to what I did to that other lawnmower that I had. Um, but this is about as good as this one's going to get, I think. Uh, runs fine for what it is. Um, again, that coil really messed it up. Making it run backwards and things like that. But I'll show you. It starts should start right back up for it. I could get it to do that at all earlier so I'll go ahead and sell this thing like I said I won't get more than $300 for it um, I'll put it on there for $300 if somebody gives me $250 they got a heck of a lawnmower for $250 so again front tires are bald uh, got new spindles and a bunch of other cool things on it the deck alone is it's not worth 250 but it's worth a decent amount with the new spindles and stuff on it done a bunch of other stuff to it but just wanted to go ahead and wrap this video up this three-part series this hasn't been called the money i'm gonna call this the money pit basket case craftsman that i just have not been able to sort out very well put it had put a new starter in it because i had to rob the starter off of another one but looks like it's starting and running reliably now and hopefully it will be relatively reliable for the new owner um, I'll put it in the listing the some of the issues it's got with it but uh, we'll see we'll see how fast it sells and uh, hopefully it'll sell pretty well and hopefully the owner new owner will get some decent life out of it so thank you all for watching uh, I appreciate every view that I get and uh, you can catch me over at Ellis Mowers 09 on Instagram and Facebook. And we're also right here on YouTube. Uploads Wednesdays and Sundays with some bonus uploads during the week. And I'll catch you on the next video.